Welcome my Zen channel, today video about how earth layers is formed history explaining stepwise. Please watch full video and share your friends and WhatsApp status, kindly don't forget subscribe and click bell icon. Eventually, the magma cooled to form a thin layer of silica to aluminum rich crust. Oceanic crust is composed of dense basalt and gabbro. Continental crust is less dense and has a granitic composition overall. The division of the Earth's interior into three distinct layers called the core, mantle, and crust is based on chemical composition. Earth's interior is commonly further differentiated into five layers based on physical properties, figure 2. Starting from the Earth's surface, the interior is divided into the lithosphere, asthenosphere, mesosphere, outer core, and inner core. Eventually, the magma cooled to form a thin layer of silica to aluminum-rich crust. Oceanic crust is composed of dense basalt and gabbro. Continental crust is less dense and has a granitic composition overall. The division of the Earth's interior into three distinct layers called the core, mantle, and crust is based on chemical composition. Earth's interior is commonly further differentiated into five layers based on physical properties, figure 2. Starting from the Earth's surface, the interior is divided into the lithosphere, asthenosphere, mesosphere, outer core, and inner core. There are two types of geologic age determinations, relative age and numerical age. Geologists in the late 18th and early 19th century studied rock layers and the fossils in them to determine relative age. It wasn't until well into the 20th century that enough information had accumulated about the rate of radioactive decay that the age of rocks and fossils in number of years could be determined through radiometric age dating. Relative age dating means to place events in a proper sequence or order without knowing the age in years. Deciphering a sequence of geologic events is done by applying for fundamental principles, 1. Law of original horizontality, sedimentary rock layers, and large lava flows, are initially deposited in a horizontal or nearly horizontal orientation due to gravity, figure 4. Therefore if rock layers appear tilted to the horizon, we can assume the rocks have been moved into that position by some crustal disturbance sometime after their deposition. 2. Law of superposition. In an undisturbed sequence of sediments and lava flows, the layer above is younger than the layer below, figure 4, dot, 3. Law of lateral continuity. Sediments and lava flows are generally laterally continuous, if not then they are usually cut by faults. Original sedimentary layers extend to the edges of a depositional environment, such as a lake or ocean basin, until they thin or taper off or until one type of sediment laterally interfingers with another as the depositional environments change. For law of cross-cutting relationships, any sediment or lava flow that is cut by a fault, another igneous body, or an erosional surface is older than the cross-cutting feature. However, advances in seismology have allowed us to learn a great deal about the earth and the many layers that make it up. Each layer has its own properties, composition, and characteristics that affects many of the key processes of our planet. They are, in order from the exterior to the interior, the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. Let's take a look at them and see what they have going on, like all terrestrial planets, the earth's interior is differentiated. This means that its internal structure consists of layers, arranged like the skin of an onion. Peel back one, and you find another, distinguished from the last by its chemical and geological properties, as well as vast differences in temperature and pressure. Formation of Solar System The Earth's story begins with the formation of the solar system approximately 4.6 billion years ago. A vast cloud of gas and dust, known as a nebula, collapsed under its gravitational forces, giving birth to the Sun at its center, accretion of planetesimals, in the remaining disk of material surrounding the young Sun, smaller bodies called planetesimals began to form through the process of accretion. These early building blocks collided and merged, forming larger bodies, including Earth, 
differentiation and formation of layers, as Earth grew, it underwent a process known as differentiation. Heavier materials, such as iron and nickel, sank towards the center due to their higher density. Forming the core. Lighter materials, like silicates, rose towards the surface, creating the mantle and crust, formation of Earth's core, the core, composed mainly of iron and nickel, formed as these dense materials migrated towards the center of the planet. This process generated heat, contributing to the internal temperature of Earth, heat generation and radioactive decay, radioactive decay of isotopes within Earth's interior, along with residual heat from its formation, has played a crucial role in maintaining the planet's internal temperature. This heat continues to drive geological processes, convection in the mantle, the mantle, lying between the core and the crust, is semi-fluid and capable of slow movement over geological timescales. Convection currents within the mantle, driven by heat from the core, cause the tectonic plates to move and lead to various geological phenomena. Formation of tectonic plates, the outer shell of the Earth, called the lithosphere, is divided into several large and small tectonic plates. These plates constantly interact through processes like subduction, collision, and spreading, influencing the planet's surface features. Continental Drift and Plate Tectonics The theory of plate tectonics, proposed by Alfred Wegener, suggests that continents are not fixed but drift over time. The movement of tectonic plates explains phenomena like earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the shaping of mountain ranges, surface erosion and sedimentation, external forces, such as wind, water, and ice, continually erode the Earth's surface. Sedimentation processes deposit these eroded materials in various locations, contributing to the formation of sedimentary rock layers, evolution of Earth's atmosphere, over time, Earth's atmosphere evolved through processes like outgassing from the interior and interactions with living organisms. The atmosphere plays a crucial role in shaping the planet's climate and supporting life, this brief overview covers the fundamental steps in the formation of Earth's layers. If you have specific questions or if there's a particular aspect you'd like to delve deeper into, feel free to ask. Thank you.